Hey, it's Liam. Today is October 15th. It's almost 9 o'clock. I got home from Roanoke almost an hour ago. Um, just been putting all my stuff away. Um, trying not to run out of gas, I might say. Um, I didn't run out of gas on the road, but just like my own energy of a, a long day of, of traveling. You know, I know if I put my feet up, then I'm done. So I'm sitting over here on the sofa instead of sitting in the armchair. Because if I sat in the armchair, I'd swing to the side and I'd put my feet up and I'd be up. I'd fall asleep in the chair and my neck would go crooked and I'd wake up with a headache a couple of hours later. So make sure that that doesn't happen. I'm sitting over here. Um, I wasn't planning on having a video at all after I got home. I figured I'd just be too wiped out. But I don't know, not running on adrenaline right now because I'd be able to tell if I was running on adrenaline. I'm running on like weird, kind of, I mean, the house is how I left it. Um, it's been shut up for a couple of days. It doesn't have like, well, some rooms have that shut up smell to them. Um, the neighborhood outside feels a lot like Roanoke, you know, hundreds of miles away that I left this morning. Um, the air feels the same, it's the same kind of time of year. But when I was driving at the, at the end, um, it did feel weird. I'm not exactly sure like how even to like, like, you know, when you get home, before you even get home, you get near home and you feel familiarity about that. There was a point where I was a couple miles away and the way the clouds were, the clouds were glowing. And you know why it does this, it's either your town's lighting it up or it's a car dealership that's lighting it up or the supermarket parking lot that's lighting it up. But you know, you're like, I know what's lighting that up. And you're like, you, you get there and it's just, it's just not, well, I mean it is, it was the dealership, the supermarket and the town lighting up the sky, but it wasn't, it just felt like another exit ramp. Well, the thousand plus miles that I've driven in the past couple of days, it was, it was just like any other exit ramp that I've driven past. Um, and it, it wasn't like any other place that I'd been over the weekend felt like home either. So it's not not that kind of. I mean, I've only been gone three days, for Christ's sake. Um, but it didn't it didn't have that kind of like, thank goodness. I'm well. As soon as I get in my bed, that'll change, and I'll just be. You know, I'll be warm and toasty in my bed, and I'll just sink into. I'll just melt into my mattress, and, and I'll be. And hopefully, I'll sleep through the night because I have to work in the morning. But it was kind of a weird. A weird feeling. Um, getting because the direction that I come home from I drive through Worcester Worcester's a lot like Roanoke where um, the city is right up against the the highway the highway is actually just weaving through the city it's up and down there's hills to either side there's hills under and over the well not over the highway but all over the place and there's uh, lots of people with questionable driving skills not me, I am an expert, but um, I, I do go through a, a place like that to get here. And I do, I do have friends over there, so I'm down there coming home from that direction a lot it's late at night. Um, and it, di it didn't feel like I was coming home after being away. It felt like I was just getting off at another, another exit ramp when I got here. Um, you know, passing a car dealership, passing just a supermarket and driving down, you know, random streets. I shut the nav off when I got to Worcester because I didn't need it. And I didn't want to listen to them anymore. I had two running and sometimes they talked over each other and sometimes, um, they said different things like in Hartford where one said be on the left, one said be on the right. I didn't make any wrong 
turns this year, so that's a good thing. I think I think I'm just I think I'm just tired. I think I'm just um, a little sleep deprived. Um, maybe a little malnourished. I didn't have. I bought all the snacks. I brought the, all the snacks. I did not eat all the snacks. And I had to unpack all the snacks and put away all the snacks because I didn't eat them all. I did eat all the donuts that I brought. Them. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm a little drained. Uh, I just, I think I need, I think I need a few more days off, but I'm not going to get those. So hopefully work will go well this week. So if I saw you in Roanoke, it's great to see you. Um, and I'll see you next time. And until then, I have 300 and, 361 or two days to recover before I <laughs> might go back and see you again. So um, thanks for watching. This has been Liam from Base Dated.